react to content? Let's farm. I did a thing. Who has made a terrifying home security system? BTW rebuilding or building similar thing will end you on certain lists and you will have to talk to the police. Trust me. Womp womp. Oh god, I mean, yeah, of course, Jesus. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he does this, um, having the, the proper precautions made for himself. I obviously, this is not to be rebuilt by anyone in private, clearly. <laughs> How you going? Yeah. This Sub is my house, he he. which, as you can see, doesn't work very well. Is it loud enough? Can you hear it? And he doesn't know who burned his house down. The police are tonight hunting what an arsonist who targeted the home of controversial, friendly Geordie's YouTube blogger. But I promised to help him by making a terrifying security system which would prevent anyone from Wait, coming near his house his ever again. Wait, did one of get burned down? I need to... Wait, I... Stuff is moving so fast. Did someone burn down his friend's house? He will explain? Okay, thank you. Now, I've always wanted to make a horrible home security system, and Jordan's <laughs> house getting burnt down was actually just a great excuse for me to pretend I'm helping by making something I was going to make anyway, a face-tracking paintball turret. And to start this build, I did what I always do, and went online and just found someone that had already made it, this child. <laughs> I then this stole child. their design and code without giving them any credit. Thanks, loser. <laughs> now the child is using two motors to move the Nerf turret up and down and side to okay, side. Okay. And I reckon if I just upgrade the motors and wooden frame, it should work in the same way, even yeah. with a much heavier paintball Phoenix. turret. Phoenix! And to do this, I bought a much more expensive material that children can't get their Thank hands you. on. Thank <laughs> you! Meth, which I pressed... What? <laughs> paintball turret and to do this i bought a much more expensive material that children can't get their hands on <laughs> meth which i pressed into white sheets <laughs> then i took it to my only mate that hasn't had his house burnt down yet and used his <laughs> custom built cnc machine to cut out the frame ain't no way <laughs> Yippee. nice feed loser and while the machine is doing all the work, I'll tell you about Jordan's place being burnt down. Okay. Jordan, or Friendly Geordies, makes videos about Australian politics, a lot of the times about corruption within the government. Uh -huh. And as you would Great. expect, this has pissed quite a lot of really powerful people of off. Of course. And recently, he spoke to a whistleblower named Troy, who revealed the extent of money laundering that happens in Australian clubs. What's the whistleblower to? Explain it to me in crayons real quick. Explain it to me like I'm five. A side man. A snitch. Oh, a snitch! Spreading sick Ah! Inside government corruption secrets have been exposed. Jobs on poker machines and how the people Ooh. that are meant to regulate this choose to ignore it. And we actually demonstrated this by laundering $25,000 in a single day with Jordan. But <gasps> after Jordan spoke to this whistleblower, his house mysteriously got firebombed. And that wow. meant that Jordan had to go into hiding. But now Jordan's back and just released a video explaining what happened and who he thinks might be responsible. So you should go check that video out after this. But this also means he definitely Wonderful. needs security. And why would you rely on police <laughs> when you have me? Am I able to just pull these off now? Yeah. No. Nope. You're able to. I'm not strong. Oh boy, it's Okay, stuck once the pieces there. were all cut out, I put them together. This bearing in here, this servo on the bottom, Imagine which will move so the base around, this one on the side the for the up and down motion, and this Arduino, these bolts on the, the bottom house. so I don't have to use any glue, then I screwed in this arm, People need some proper and then put a leg on the other, to take care and then finished it off with a little bit of hot glue. <laughs> the fucking leg caught me so off guard! No! Now, yeah, with this Arduino, looks like it hurt. I have no idea how to write code for it. But luckily, I don't have to, as the child's code should work on this in exactly yeah, the same the way. Child's code. So, I opened up my computer, which of <laughs> course has Opera GX on it, the sponsor of today's video. Yeah, Thanks to Opera! Opera GX for sponsoring this video. Opera GX is my Guess favorite. Guess what and we are watching browser, on? Because it doesn't use all. Who 
computer's resources for no reason, Beautiful. as it has Except a special I feature which allows you to limit the network blue. bandwidth used by OpenJX browser to gain Hashtag performance ad. in games. And yeah, streams. but and we're getting, getting content out of someone else's Here, look hard at this example using work slow for Chrome content. and now fast Opera GX. So, yeah. This is especially useful for me when I'm running we're some watch the code ad like and this enjoy and enjoy the as processing ad. power as possible. Opera GX Opera is also soon, let's go and you can change it and make it feel really unique and special to you. Make it also has a lot of extensions and has the ability to add all your messenger programs on the side, which is really I useful. wish I could and use now, that, but that would be my link to download Opera GX, dust. you will also get this awesome GX corner feature, which I love as it allows me to know when I've uploaded. So go down and use my link to download <laughs> Opera GX today. Okay, back to the kids code, which works by communicating to this webcam here from the 90s, which is connected to the Arduino, and then these two servo motors, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which work together to move the webcam so it points directly at a person's face. Oh, sorry. One more interruption. <laughs> also, we have our own wallpaper on Opera GX, so... Uh... Ah. Back to the video! Oh boy. It's finding me. It's That's finding me. <laughs> this is terrifying. How does it find a face it in this awful myself. camera? That's crazy. What about down here? Feel me. What about up here? No, yeah, AI is wild. <laughs> Oh, and then when your shit. face touches the crosshair in the middle, the servo attached to the trigger fires. And it seems to find my face pretty well, but sometimes it gets confused by my wrinkly knees, thinking <laughs> they are a face. <laughs> Is it finding my knees? It's my knees, not a face. Or even my face-shaped penis. It's pointing directly at my cock. That's <laughs> and now that the machine wants to kill me, it's time to give it a go. And I bought this one, which looks pretty cool. And because of Australia's strict gun laws, it also has the added bonus of sending you to prison if you put this barrel attachment on, which makes it look <laughs> too much like a real gun. Alexa. Oh, God. You can put this on the end of this. Yeah, yeah just that way. Just help me push it. I just can't do it because i got a camera in my hand. Yeah, you push and then just hold all of it. It tracks for light, slash the shadows, shadows and calculates the rest. Okay. But I completely forgot Crazy. about the gas tank, so hopefully it's weighted evenly and isn't too heavy for these servos. But I'm hopeful <laughs> as these Free servos vacation have attachment. Let's go. Or in American units, enough power for half a school shooting, which should be more than enough. And this looks pretty intimidating when all together. This is terrifying. I definitely don't feel like firebombing my own house. <laughs> So time to see if the face tracking still works with the gun and gas tank on the end. Oh, well, Alexa, do you reckon you can look up and tell me if this, this works? Just look into this and we'll see if it finds your face. Oh. Just, yeah, just keep looking there. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Why is it shooting? And even though it was firing blanks, it's still terrifying and is loud and my ears are ringing. So, it's time to test it out with some real no paintballs. No way. But there's a problem. This is also illegal. Like, very illegal. <laughs> this is if also illegal. If I put a illegal. ball in the turret and shoot it in my house, the police will come and give me a $100,000 fine, put me in prison, and then touch me. Which is not what you want from a home Ain't security no system. Ain't no way you get a $100,000 fine is, for shooting a paintball ball in your own and house? And potentially kill you, then this would be considered self-defense and no must way. stand up in court. <laughs> So, just to be safe, I found a paintball venue crazy enough to let you me do? legally test this device on their premises. Spitfire Paintball. Now, they said they didn't want to be in the video if I get in trouble with the police, but I won't actually find that out until after the video is released. So, Spitfire Paintball, everyone. Hello, Hello. Hey, how are you going? How are you going? Pretty good. I'm excited. Are, are you uh, proud of this contraption? Do you think that it's going to protect you? I think it's definitely going to protect you as long as you don't look at it. Like, as long as face, you yeah. don't look yeah, at you it. You just always have to be looking away. Oh, and it's going to be safe. So you're not programming in the faces of the enemies that you want. It's just any face. Any face. Any face. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> and then you'll be fine. You just can't look at it. <laughs> How good do you think he is of a programmer? He, he can't do any of this. It's, it's all faces. Also, I didn't write this code. I stole it from a child on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> stole it from a child on YouTube. <laughs> but sadly, the owner did have one condition, and we needed to wear masks to prevent us from getting shot in the eyes. Uh, which of means course. The facial recognition won't work. So the plan now oh, is to get Jordan, his producer Christo, Alexa and I to all wear shirts with the faces of people that might have a reason to burn down Jordan's house. That way we can also test if their inhumane looking faces are even recognised by the computer as real faces. Are those all and real also people? means we get shot in the chest. So time oh, for just the like first some AI real test, faces. which I decided to do as a matador. Yes? Oh god. Is this getting political? Oh! <laughs> It's accurate, but... And that seemed to work really well, and it was searching for real faces to shoot. So I put on one of the face shirts and got in front of the turret. more than I thought it would. Maybe it was the rubber balls on bare skin or the fear factor of the autonomous robot, but I do not remember Damn! this much. That's so gonna leave a mark, it already has. And Christo seemed quite calm and managed to face the turret directly. It's not, it's not but for some reason, the robot ignored the face on his shirt and decided to kneecap Christo instead. Try to shoot your knee. <laughs> <laughs> You went for the knees! Why did it kneecap you? Before shooting Alexa directly in the face. <laughs> no! Then it was Jordan's turn with the Gladys Berejiklian face. And the robot, for some reason, really struggled to recognize her as a human. But eventually, it worked. It's just not. <laughs> Jesus! And as you can see, it's actually quite hard to get hit. And to get the turret to actually shoot us, we had to flatten our shirts and walk very slowly towards the I mean, yeah, the, the camera, image is like distorted and shiny. Most criminals yeah, yeah. are known to do before burning down people's It'll houses. be much harder to see that compared to the real fans. Why are you so wilty? And after wilty. comparing our battle wounds, of which oh. Christo had the most, we decided to run through a scenario. Jordan would lie down sleeping like he normally would at home, and we would try to sneak up to him with a petrol can and burn him alive. What the so now, <laughs> enjoy Alexa, Christo, and I being tortured. And I was hit first, but luckily my apron stopped me from feeling anything, and that almost seemed to piss off the turret and it decided to aim lower, and once again, kneecapped Christo. Oh! What the, the fuck? The code for the tracking really well is a library that so everyone we has access to. Jumping it was created the around 2002 and was used on security cameras. If you want something but like that for just reasons, just us say so something. Much that we didn't I want to go say anywhere near it. Much appreciated, but I sure as hell well, hope I'll never have to use this. <laughs> so we took the opportunity to pour petrol all it's over Jordan, an killing him. And would never really consider owning a house. And then, to make it worse, so I just feel as like as a social was asking Jordan if the turret made him feel safe, that's always a bad idea. I never goes. No, I never goes well. The turret crashed and shot Jordan in the neck. <gasps> oh! Oh! <laughs> so we decided to try it one more time. But just before we did, I looked down at my phone and uh -oh. noticed 11 missed call and multiple messages from my mum, letting me know that the New South Wales police had showed up at her doorstep and were searching her house. 
And I immediately thought it was because of this video I'm filming right now, but it turns out it wasn't. And they were actually there because of this video I made five the years ago. The tampon gun? And after telling the boys what was happening at my mum's house. There are police at my mum's house. I feel like I can't do anything else now. Uh, Wait, I think they're leaving. Yeah, they're do leaving. you reckon they're leaving? they're leaving? We all decided that my mum would be fine and we should continue with another group test. <laughs> Yes. But this time, we decided to split up to give us better chances. The tampon gun is good, this, so we watch it after. Really didn't know what to do. Is it worth the what? And Alexa and I managed to ah. not get hit at all, but Christo once again stayed in one Mom's place fine. for too Keep long. Shooting. Before Alexa snuck around and burnt Jordan. And the robot once again failed to stop us. And maybe this was because the faces were too small and kind of wrinkled and hard to detect. Oh, you got oh, some man. good ones. Oh. So we decided to give the robot a bigger target. And the boys drew John Barillaro's beautiful face on me. I mean... Ain't no way this works. Ain't no way. We got a nice bot though, damn. Ain't no way it's actually shooting him. No. Do you think the software just recognizes his face through the map? I'm tensing and screeching like a goblin, but this is terrifying. Mostly because my mind is trying to keep me in one spot long enough for the turret to find the face. So it looks like it's working for this video. But at the same time, my body wants to run away in the opposite direction, which resulted in me doing this strange up and down jump. <laughs> In your body tends that much in my life really? you're like yeah, yeah, yeah. you're like a <laughs> <I'm> so <laughs> disgusting <laughs> and in one way that worked really well till the three months was bruises to clear up but ain't no it way wasn't for real to stop us from burning jordan alive in all three tests but i don't think he's in a position to be picky so i welded up a bracket uh? and went to his new address at 109 Kirribilli Avenue 2061 <laughs> New South Wales and installed it next to his Thanks. front door. Appreciate it. now, at the bare minimum, the next person that burns down his house will have some recognisable paintball hickeys on them. Thank you so much for watching. If you like that, <laughs> please subscribe and check out some of my other videos. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. I... <laughs> what?